Hi, welcome back. Cam here from Riviera Nordic and in this session of our briefing series uh, we're going to demonstrate and look at some tips and tricks of uh, docking your boat against a jetty. Um, so uh, we're on the Ju 436 yacht um, but basically everything we talk about applies equally to yachts and to, to motor cruisers um, and uh, what we're going to do today is dock against our fueling jetty which is incidentally where you'll dock when you come back to us at Riviera Nordic um, and our fueling jetty which we're approaching at the moment if you pan across this way you'll see the fueling jetty has the fuel bowser on it a small roof um, and a sign on there as well so I'm not sure if you can tell on the video at the moment but we've got the wind behind us at the moment we've got a trailing breeze and we need to make a decision we know where we want to dock the boat we need to make a decision about about the wind um, and this is probably one of the most important things to remember um, when you're planning on, on docking against a jetty is that we must approach the jetty um, as best as possible into the wind. So the fuel jetty that we've just gone past at the moment, we've got the option to either come straight in with the wind or we can go down the creek here, turn around and approach into the wind. And that's the way we, we must do it. It makes a, a, a big difference. I can't stress enough that it, it makes a huge difference to your ability to keep good control over the boat at a slow speed by going into the wind rather than um, sailing with the wind if you like. So um, what we've done is we've gone past the jetty, we're going to turn the boat around and approach the jetty so that we'll be facing into the wind. We'll do that now. So around we go. And as we come around, hopefully you'll be able to see in the distance the jetty that we're aiming for. So we're just coming out of our turn there. So in the distance is our fuel jetty, uh, the jetty with the bouncer and the roof on it. What I'm doing from back here is we've given ourselves a nice long approach towards the jetty and we're trying to keep the boat now in a nice steady um, angle approaching the jetty and we're fairly shallow. We're, we're not parallel to the jetty but we're certainly not perpendicular to the jetty. We're going to be at about a 20 or 30 de degree angle as we approach which is exactly what we're doing now. And we're, we're as best as possible into the wind. So the wind is blowing us a little bit to the right um, but it's on our nose which is what we want. What that allows me to do is keep a little bit of power on so that we don't go into neutral too early. So I've got power on but the boat's not going too fast. The next most important thing I'm going to do is keep steering and I'm responsible for stopping the boat. Okay, so as we come closer to the jetty, you can see us approaching the jetty now. I'm still in gear because if I go into neutral, we're going to drift with the wind. Now I'm going to come back to neutral and it's my job to stop the boat. I can't rely on a crew member stopping the boat. So I don't stop steering. I'm into reverse because reverse is my brake. And we just nudge the jetty there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to creep up to a post to align the post with my aft cleat, my aft cleat here. So the boat's not stopped at the moment, so I'm going to stop the boat. There we go. Now we're stopped and I'm in neutral now that we've stopped. I've got my mooring rope here. And of course, you've probably got some crew members with you. I've got my mooring rope over the post. And as long as I get my full turn around the base of the cleat, I'm fairly secure there. Okay, and we'd have someone on the bow as well doing their job on the bow. So we can get reasonably quickly secured by securing a, uh, a uh, stern mooring line. And what I'm going to do is just demonstrate by coming forward slightly so that our post here is really close to our aft cleat. So the post on the jetty, nice and close to the aft cleat. And I'll take my full turn around the base of the cleat so I can hold that. You can see at the moment we're blowing off the jetty. If I now put us into forward gear and I turn slightly towards the jetty, I'm holding onto our stern line. And as I bring on a little bit of power, I can bring the boat back to the jetty. So it's coming back into the jetty now. So even though I'm single handed, and hopefully you'll find it a bit easier because you'll have a few people on board with you, um, we can, without even going forward, we've got ourselves now securely against the jetty. 
Um, you'll also notice that I didn't put fenders out before we arrived. All of our Riviera Nordic boats are set up with nice strong rubbing strakes around the gunnels of the boat. So we don't need to put fenders out as we're approaching the, the jetty. If we were staying here overnight, once we had the boat fully secured with ropes front and back, so uh, you know from the bow and from the stern, um, once we're fully secured, then I could put my fenders out and it'll just stop any squeaking noises um, that, uh, um, that, uh, from the boat rubbing against the jetty. Um, so having done that, I'm now going to show you how to get off the jetty um, because in actual fact that's often more difficult than, than arriving at the jetty. So I'll be with you again shortly. Okay guys, so we've spent the night on the jetty here. Um, it's time to leave and I'm going to show you um, a, a method that, that works across all of the boats um, in, in the fleet. Um, and it's a method to get us off the jetty. So let's imagine um, that we've got a, a fairly stiff breeze blowing in this way. And in fact, the, the breeze that we have got is gently just pushing us against the jetty. So, um, you know, these boats are, are too big to be able to just push off the jetty and, and drive, drive out forwards. Um, and perhaps your instinct as you're leaving the jetty is to, to turn to the left. Um, and of course, what that does on a boat, so a boat steers typically somewhere around its middle. It means as the front of the boat's going left, the back of the boat is going that way because um, the boat pivots about its middle. So again, we can't just put the boat into forwards and steer left because uh, the back of the boat's going to be hitting the jetty and, and the net result of that is that we go straight, straight ahead. Um, so what we need to do is use our ropes in a springing method um, to get the bow, to get the front of the boat away from the jetty. So we're going to get the bow facing more out into the wind and, and away from the jetty. That allows us to depart the jetty at a much better angle and a much safer angle that, that reduces the risk of us blowing back onto the jetty or into the boats in, in front of us. So what we've got is our stern line here, nice and short around the post that's adjacent to the, to the cleat. Um, as we've spoken about a few times already, I've just got my single turn around the base of the cleat and I'm holding onto that rope. Um, I'm going to pretend that a, another crew member has already freed the bow line. Okay, so the only rope at the moment securing us to the jetty is our stern line. Um, and what I'm going to do now is the, the engine's in, in neutral there and the breeze that we've got is just gently pushing the boat backwards against, against our, our rope. And I'm going to exacerbate that a little bit just by putting the boat just into reverse. So the boat's trying to go backwards, but it can't because of this rope is, is attached to the, to the jetty post. And if you look forward, we can see what's happening at the front. The front of the boat's coming away from the jetty and now it's coming through the eye of the breeze. So I'm at no risk now of the boat blowing back onto the jetty. So as long as I'm in neutral, and this is really important, I'm in neutral and I can free our mooring line off the jetty. And my final step is that I'm going to steer to the right because initially as I motor out forwards now that gets the back of the boat away from the jetty as I steer to the right and now I'm straightening up my wheel because we're well and truly clear of the jetty and we're on our way and off to our next fabulous destination on the Gippsland Lakes. See you again soon. Thank you.